All right, true believers, welcome back for another episode of My Gaming Diary on the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming Channel on YouTube. My name is Agastocles Stamus from GearWorks.com, and this afternoon I'm going to be playing a little bit of Digital Combat Simulator, specifically the uh, A10C Warthog uh, DLC expansion pack. So, if you're not familiar with uh, DCS, uh, it, there is a core package, DCS World, um, that I think comes with like three aircraft, or maybe two. Um, it comes with the SU-25T Frogfoot, uh, as well as, a, I think I guess, a T-51 trainer aircraft. And then you kind of assemble the rest of your flight simulator by uh, purchasing additional aircraft and mission packages to kind of build up your whole simulator uh, infrastructure. So, um, I haven't spent a lot of time flying the SU-25T, but uh, this is one of the expansion packs that I bought, the uh, A-10C Warthog, which is an advancement over the A-10A. Now, I think DCS World either includes the A-10A or maybe did at one point, I'm not absolutely certain, but I've expended a ton of time trying to figure this flight simulator out, and I think I finally have it locked down. Um, and the weird quirky thing is that uh, I'm finding that the best gameplay experience I'm getting is by playing with the simulation um, flight model, but with the uh, arcade avionics. So uh, the avionics for the A-10 for this simulator were just ridiculously difficult, um, and it just it was not making sense for me to put the time in to figure that out. So uh, here we go. Alright, so I went in and made some final adjustments. Well, the one thing that's bad right now... Ah, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, the one thing that's bad right now is... Um, I do not know how to <laughs> fire bombs yet, so... Um, one thing I am not doing is I don't have... Uh, So one thing that's kind of weird in this game is, um, or in this flight model, is the simulation version of the flight model actually uh, flies better than the arcade version of the flight model. So one thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and do, I have, because I don't know how to activate the, air, the autopilot, because uh, I don't see commands for that in the simulation uh, Light commands. Um, I'm actually going to arm. So I've just set my countermeasures to uh, auto so that if a threat does pop up, um, because I cannot find commands for uh, manually launching chaff and flare. Uh, so I've got the system set so that uh, it'll automatically launch countermeasures. Now that's my wingman that you just saw fly beneath me. So now I am out of rockets, uh, which is a little disappointing that I carried so few. Uh, the first few... Um, Okay, so the Maverick's not picking up anything. Still not picking up anything. So whatever is left is so small that, uh... come back around on another pass to try and get that truck. So uh, when you're flying in the simulation, in the arcade 
with the arcade flight model, uh, for whatever reason, you don't get as much power, and so I was having a lot of problems um, with the aircraft just uh, losing thrust on turns and when climbing. Now, it is true you have to be a little bit careful with the A-Tank Chuck Warthog. Uh, uh, it's a great loitering aircraft and performs very well at low speeds. Um, but uh, it will definitely uh, drop power on you and lose forward thrust if you try and turn it too tight. Now, I should still have Maverick armed, and I do. So let's see if I can get a Maverick shot now. Blast it! So this target is too small, I think, is the issue. I want to do two instant action missions during this recording. Uh, the truth is, um, it may wind up being two. So I guess I have two Mavericks left. So because there are a lot of these controls that I'm not finding, uh, I'm actually. GGP Maverick. Oh, there's another page there. I get to DSMS from here. So I have view slave to a dial that I have over my throttle. I don't know what that 8 8 means. I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop to the external view. Okay, so looks like I have yeah four Mavericks left. sound that I'm pushing the aircraft too hard. Backing in the turn. Let's see if I can get a Maverick shot now. I think one thing is it actually needs to be able to see the target. Hopefully it's got it in its camera view now. Nope. Not taking it. I don't know how many gun rounds I have left, so what I was saying before is, uh... One thing is, is so... So here's a little cheat that I'm gonna do... I'm actually zoom my view in. I don't have the game paused. I don't know exactly. So that is the target. It's not like... Seems to mean that I have a Gatling gun problem. Alright. Yeah, I thought I could hold it together. Apparently not. Alright, so let's run that back. So this is the one of the games that it's a little more difficult <laughs> for me to do voiceover commentary while I'm playing it because this game is complex, uh, very complex. 
I'll try and do it a little bit at a time, maybe in between targets. So um, let's run down the hardware that's in use today on the streaming setup. So uh, for video capture, I'm using the Avermedia Game Capture HD2 uh, C285. Uh, that is a standalone recording box, which I really like. I've mentioned that device before. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the button to target the surface contact, surface target in the center of my pip. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start playing this a little differently. So I'm going to arm Mavericks first. So that's one away. Pickle two. Okay, good. Alright, moving on to my next target. So I'm going to arm the Mavericks on the other pylon. So I'm about five miles out. I'm going to close into about three. I don't actually, I think it's miles, it might be kilometers. Uh, so the nice thing about the Avermedia C285 is it has a hard drive in the, uh, in the, in the bay in the underbelly that it records directly to. So I don't have to monkey with uh, USB drives connecting. So at three miles, I'm going to pickle the first Maverick. I have one Maverick left. I have not been able to figure out where the... Uh, and I'm going to pickle the other one at uh, a little under two miles, I think. i back off on the throttle a bit. Here we go. Nice. So now I'm going to go with the bombs. I'm going to hold off on using the rockets. I seem to be fairly comfortable with those. So That's still... Oh, are you kidding me? Is it still holding a target? So I'm going to dump the throttle and turn tight here. The aircraft to bank as quickly as possible. Is this a different target or the same one? No, that's a new target. All right, so it's way out there. Now, I just read a tutorial about bombing. It claimed that the altitude you want is about, now these GBU-12s, I believe, will launch at a lesser altitude, but um, they were talking about 15,000 to 20,000 feet, which seems a bit extreme, but that's what I'm gonna punch up to. Or at least I'm gonna get higher than I have been trying to drop them at. Uh, for the webcam today, I'm using the Logitech C. Nine twenty, I think, is what I have connected. Okay, so this is a bridge, looks like. I oh, know that's the waypoint. I think that is the actual target. I look to be about eight miles out. Uh... Yeah, I think it's a C920. Uh, for voiceover commentary, I'm using the Samson Meteor mic, and it's sitting on a little Samson bass stand that I have for it. It's a really heavy stand that weighs about, I don't know, like eight pounds. Um, does a really good job holding the mic. I am using a uh, windscreen and pop filter with the mic today. Uh, to get the uh, in-game audio into my earphones, uh, I'm using the Behringer Xenix 302 USB hardware mixer. 
And I've just got it uh, running off of its own power. And I have a uh, splitter cable running out of the C285 because you can connect uh, an audio output to catch, um, to catch the game audio in line uh, while it's being run into the back side of the C285 over HDMI. Um, so I jack into the sound uh, with a 3.5mm jack, bring it over to the Xenix 302 uh, with a cable that then splits it out into left and right channel RCA jacks, plugs into the line in, uh, and then I have the switches set so it sends that audio over to uh, so what I need to do is I need to make the right MFD SOI and then I need to zoom that camera yeah there we go okay I don't know. So that's a truck. That's on a bridge. So I'm at about 10,000 feet. I really need to pull in over this thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Like I said, I really just don't know how to drop bombs. Okay, that actually evened me up on the target a little better. Bombs away. Alright. Blast it! I got hit. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to switch weapons, because when I go back around on this thing, I've got to take it out. Rockets. Bombs. Best bet is to go, uh... So, countermeasures are degraded. Everything's dead. Everything's dead. Engines are out. I'm gonna have to eject. And that didn't work. I gotta remember to eject. I gotta hit that three times. Interesting that he's entirely out of weapons. So I don't mind replaying this, because now I've actually got the gameplay down. All last night and, uh, and early, early this morning, uh, I was just trying to figure out how to get this thing to run correctly. Uh, and for earphones today, I'm just using a pair of, you know, I don't know what they are. They're either my iPad, iPhone, or iPod earphones. Ear pop, ear, yeah, in ear, 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 headphones, earphones. They're not AirPods or EarPods or whatever. All right, let's make another run at this. Okay, so this has me starting out at about three miles. It looks like it takes two Mavericks to take this out. I'm gonna back off on the throttle a little. So now that I've finally got myself oriented to how this thing needs to run, The first rocket didn't take everything out. First missile, rather. Oh, no. Nice job taking out this truck. The next target is in search of the two trucks in the train. 
the waypoint 3 is labeled control. The target is marked with red smoke. Take it out. So I'm going to try a bombing run on this one. I don't know how successful it will be. I need to gain some altitude. Now again, I'm going to try... Oh, no, 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 no. You center that view, come on. It's not good. All right, so now that that's soy, I can zoom in on the target. And he's marked with red smoke. Speed down a little here. Pickle the first bomb, see how that does. I just have no idea how to tell if that first bomb got anywhere near him. It should have been. Alright, I'm going to come around for another run. I guess I'm going to try... Oh yeah, I gotta remember when I come in here to uh, set countermeasures to automatic. So the one thing I haven't mentioned is actually the thing that has been central to my gameplay. Um, And that is that I am uh, using a uh, Thrustmaster T.16000 FCS for my gaming input. I'm back way off in the throttle. I'm going to try and make this a diving bomb run. The problem with these bombs is I don't know if I'm supposed to do dive bombing. Or level bombing. Or... Uh, Oh, uh, this, this might be working out. <sighs> oh, oh, that worked! Holy cow, that worked! Nice! <laughs> Alright, let's tighten this turn up and go after the third target. Okay, so now we know how to bomb, at least using the GBU-12s. So I have saved uh, my Mavericks for this next target. Should allow me to engage a little further now. Now, because I know what the threat is, I still don't like that I don't. I'm not getting any kind of threat indicator when those SAMs launch. I don't. Nothing comes up on the RWS. But I have learned how to read my altitude, so. Calm up, down. So I do know how to get on the deck. Now. I've got the TGS as soy, so... Right? Uh, for some reason the camera's not zooming in. Well, maybe you don't have control over the Maverick camera. It's my range out. 6.6 .6 miles. So 
So I'm going to drop it down to about 2,000 feet. See if that keeps me belief. Pull up, pull up. The Sam aperture. Out. Calm down. Out. Stop yapping at me. Now five miles out. It says target 6.4. So this is one of the things that the A-10 does well, is hug the deck like this and get in close. Kind of is able to get into a knife fight with surface targets. Pull up, pull up. Five miles out. Still can't really see the target, so I don't know if it's behind the tree line. I'm gonna go ahead and risk taking my first shot at four miles. Pull One up, more power. Up. First bird away. Pull up, pull up. Yeah, I feel like that thing is behind it, obscured behind a tree line. Okay, now it looks like I have a good shot at him, line of sight. Oh, that got him. Let's get the heck out of here. Max thrust. Now my problem is, is because of the engine limits, right? You heard me getting the stall alarm there. Got to get a little higher than I'd like. Altitude. Altitude's altitude. fine. Now, I don't know what this next target is. I think it's a bridge. The Maverick's not going to do that great against a bridge. And actually, see, there's other AAA targets there. I don't know why this guy's not talking to me and giving me the brief. Maybe it's because he feels like I've done so well taking out the targets up to date. I'm going to drop power and get back down on the deck. I know that there are AAA sites around this bridge. But I have no other surface targets on the map. I'm cycling to next surface target not getting anything. Uh, so yeah, so it's taken me a while to get this uh, flight control system configured. The... Um, TCS is a little weird because the uh, TWCS, which is the throttle uh, attachment that comes along with it if you buy the full kit, um, uh, doesn't does it pivot around an anchor point. It actually just slides uh, horizontally back and forth. Um, it is not as well reviewed as the joystick is. A lot of people actually don't like the throttle attachment. Um, because of that weird sliding back and forth. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I've had a really difficult time. Oh, that is the target coming right up, isn't it? I thought it was over on the other side of the hill. So I actually really don't like the Maverick camera. Um, I'm sure that's the only thing. Now, when I came in here last time, I got torn up by the AAA site, so I'm trying to see. Oh, they are on the other side of a mountain, I think. So what's going to happen when I pop up over this mountain? I need to pull my speed down. I'm not going to have a lot of time to react, and I may not be able to see other targets until I'm right there. <laughs> That's a gorgeous graphic there coming in right over the mountains. Yeah, he's over. He's behind this other embankment. So, uh, so I struggled a lot because I didn't realize that the uh, arcade model uh, has much less fidelity and just doesn't actually uh, have the same power. So this is going to be hard. So I'm going to try and pickle this Maverick. I'm not seeing any other AA. 
wonder if I should really pitch my nose up and come in higher. Now what I gotta do is I gotta switch quickly to rockets. Oh, nope, that got her. Great. So, uh, and I've used all my Mavericks. Uh, but yeah, I just really struggled with um, understanding the flight model and getting a hold of... Um, what was going on with the flight control system. So the whole thing's been particularly difficult. So I don't know why. Uh, that's not good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was I was wondering why it was still showing a uh, a target indicator there. Okay. So I'm about ten miles out. Again, I'm going to drop back to what I hope is something close to two hundred miles per hour. Or 200 knots. I'm not really certain what unit of measurement I'm looking at here. But yeah, it's been a big learning curve. Calm down. Betty. So now this is going to not SOI. Okay. So now I've got my standard camera. I don't know. On. I don't know if rockets is the right thing to come at this thing with. So off. I guess I'm gonna go with the bomb. So if I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna go with the bomb, I should calm down, calm down. What do I have now? My problem is I've got f five miles out to get up to the right altitude. I should have made that decision sooner. So now that this is SOI, I can zoom in. I don't know if I'm looking at a target right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Let's see right there, small bridge. I gotta level out to pick up some speed. Now these are the GB38s that I'm gonna be firing, yeah. I think these are the ones that they really want you to drop from a higher altitude. I'm gonna hope and believe that this is also a pitch bombing weapon. Two miles. I know, I know, I know. Jam it, jam it, jam it. Come on, come on, get the pip up, come on. Come on. Blast it. Wow. Uh, I got nothing, I got nothing, that's frustrating. To have made it through that much of the mission and then uh, get tagged up there at the end. Great. the bridge and there's where I crashed just short of making it to the target I wish you could do admission saves in this game cuz uh, how am I doing on time I'm actually not doing that bad I know you guys probably don't want to see it again but uh
I'm going to run these back. Uh, I didn't realize. Okay. So I need to go to the briefing. The debriefing, I guess, and not just quit. Huh. Really? So I've gone from barely being able to keep the aircraft in the air to getting an air medal in the span of one day. It's pretty cool. As long as this thing's not locked up on me and it feels like it is. Oh, there it is. Huh? Okay. Score 32. I'm also not... I'm also... Okay, so I hit the two transports with Mavericks. Get a bunch of stuff with the GBU-12s. Hit the SAM with a Maverick. Get another transport with the Maverick. Those, I don't know what that was. Those rockets? I took some hit. Oh, I took some hits there. And ejected. <laughs> Alright, so let's fly it again. So my plan for this session is uh, for about an hour, so I've got about uh, 22 more minutes available. I don't know. Maybe. Got him with the first Maverick. It's really weird. I just don't like how that enemy indicator lingers for so long. After, and I mean, and I know it killed the target, right? Because it switched what I was locked on to. Yes. 
Yeah, it seems like the better you do, the fewer uh, tips it gives you on where to go next. Yeah, I realize now I shouldn't have used the Sam. Uh, uh, what I really need the Mavericks for is the Sam site. So it looks like I have two more. So I had been playing earlier today uh, with um, using the unlimited setting, uh, unlimited weapons, unlimited fuel, but. The thing is, when the A-10 is way down, uh, fully loaded, it flies uh, like a worse hog than it already is. And that was definitely some of the problems I was hitting and trying to fly it effectively. So once you get it working, this is a pretty decent flight control system. Uh, really inexpensive, it's just barely over $100, but really features a lot of the functionality of much more expensive units. Altitude, altitude. Daddy, calm down. Pull up, pull up. I'm at 3,000 feet, calm down. Now, the game gives you a very sparse mission briefing for these instant action uh, set pieces, and so one of the things that I don't know but I definitely wonder is whether or not there are other uh, enemies on the map that aren't actually your objectives. Because I'm certain that I have been fired at by other SAM sites um, that were not on my target path going to all the waypoints. I really like how this is going. Pull up, pull up. I mean, I'm right on the deck. I definitely don't like the Maverick camera. I prefer the Warthog's own camera. He's not seen a lot of detail, but I guess that's telling me that he is definitely tucked behind the trees there. Here. Now, do I have a line of sight to him now? I think I can see him. Let me pick all this thing. Definitely need to back off at some of the speed. I don't know what I'm going to do if this has to take him out. I guess I'll go guns and rockets. That did the trick. Rust, because I'm going to want to get off the deck here really quick. Yeah, so once you understand, uh, so it's a little like dri learning to drive different cars, right? And all the racing games that I play with cars that are just really, uh, you know, there's some cars that are really powerful, but you can't just uh, drive the wheels off of them, right? Because they'll get squirrely on you. There are some cars that corner really well, as long as you keep them under control, so what is that? Oh, that's still showing me a target over there. Guess I'll try and take this guy with guns and missiles. I may have to cut back over there to the first target. Looks like I 
Man, I've left some trash at the other target too. That's gonna really be not cool if I have to go all the way back over there. No, I didn't see any offensive units at this guy's location. I wonder is this that, if that's actually it says I'm heading for waypoint four. But I didn't think the later targets were marked with smoke. Just a truck. It's a distance here two miles. I think this is back in my original target zone. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Nice job. Yeah. Alright, so I know how to launch the 12s. Actually, I'm pretty decent with those. Let's see if I can figure out how to launch these 38s. these things to drop last time. And again, I just don't know. I think I'm going to pause it. Let's see if I can... hit at simhq.com um, because the images I load that. What I used to like is in the Falcon 4.0 uh, manual they used to just give you a um, Hoping, what I've been hoping is that um, flying the simplified avionics model that they don't require you to actually laze a target to drop the GVU-38, but I'm starting to get a little worried that maybe that's the case. I 
I don't know if that pip at the top. Nope, I didn't drop it, did I? It just barely touched. Uh... Come on. Can't tell if I actually dropped anything. It means that what I'm actually going to have to do is calm down. I think what I'm going to actually have to do is, uh, I'm not going to be able to use them if I have to use the laser. That's what I could do is I could. Uh, there's a very unlikely chance that I might f figure out where the laser is. Panels. But I got it. Probably not going to have any hard switches for it because it should be all software based. Yeah. I don't remember how to put the goggles on or any of that. Briefing, but you can't get to any of the uh, yeah. you're stuck. You gotta either figure it out or else just not use it. Which would definitely be a problem. I thought. So I have it armed. I just don't know how to shoot the thing. I'm gonna try and make a guess of how this thing works. Board. Great.
So that dropped. And I guess got nowhere near it. There's my wingman coming around. Obviously, launch it from level flight. <clears throat> the thing I can't figure out is uh... all right. This is what I'm supposed to be lining it up on to tell when to drop it. Guns it is. Oh, so I still have GBU thirty eight. That's interesting. Did I use my 12s already? Blast it! Uh, I wonder if I drop my GBU 12s instead of my Blast of 38s. Great. Alright, I'm gonna go in with Mavericks. What I really want to do is get there, go with Mavericks and take out the AAA sites. And then just be able to take my time with the bridge. But I don't know if that's going to work out realistically or not. One thing I don't know how to read, but I need to because I'm not flying with unlimited fuel on my fuel gauges. So I'm pushing uh, at a slightly faster speed than I would normally because
Yeah, so I'm uh, coming in a little hotter than I would normally because I am running, turns out, about five minutes late already. Altitude, altitude. Now the difference, the difference now is I'm coming in, what is that? Aircraft, aircraft. Well. So I did take the bridge out, but I got killed in the offing, so. <laughs> and I also didn't know that there were targets still remaining after that, so. Oh, well, not bad. I'll be doing another session of this uh, later tonight, trying to see if I can figure out the remainder. Um, I may take a run flying with unlimited weapons as well. All right, well, thanks so much for anybody who happens to wander by and check out this uh, game capture of DCS uh, Digital Combat Simulator, Ethan Chuck, Warthog, and... Once again, this has been a Gaskly Statements from Gearworks.com with an episode of My Gaming Diary on the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming Channel on YouTube. Thanks so much for joining in. Check in later for the next episode uh, featuring the same game and the same setup. Talk to you guys later. I'm out.